Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Nush Rules here. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to get Siri on your uh, on any iPhone, uh, but your iPhone has to be running iOS 5.0.1 or 5.0. This does not work on 5.1 as of yet, but if I do put up an annotation or a little text bubble anywhere up here, then maybe that will give you an update, but for now this only works on 5.0 or 5.0.1, but not on 5.1. This works with any device that can run 5.0.1, whether that's the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch, 4th generation or 3rd generation. Uh, I've confirmed it working with 3GS because I have it installed on my 3GS, it's an iPhone 3GS, and it works well. Hello. So yeah, Siri fully working on the Siri 3GS. Says hi back. This is the official version of Siri. It is complete. I can confirm that this does work with the uh, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and iPod Touch 4th generation because me and my friends have tried it and it did work. I'm not sure about the iPod Touch 3rd generation uh, because. Uh, I haven't tried it personally, but it should work since it's iOS 5.0.1. And of course, you do have to be jailbroken to do this. And it's very easy to jailbreak if you're on iOS 5.0.1 or 5.0 on any of these devices. So go uh, jailbreak your phone first or your iPod first if it's not already. So you have to be jailbroken already to do this. Alright, so let's get into the first step. Alright, so step one would be to open your iPhone or iPod and go into... Uh, Cydia. Let's go ahead and do that. And after you're in Cydia, you're gonna wait for it to load up. Load all its packages. If there is any banner on the top, over here on the top, if there's any banner that says uh, downloading package or something, just let it happen. Let it finish. After you're done with that, you're gonna be seeing this page. So just go on the bottom, click manage and then uh, go to uh, go to sources uh, then on the top right you'll see this button says edit uh, click on the edit button after you've done that you're gonna wanna click add which is on the top left over here just click add and then you're gonna wanna type this in alright R E P O dot s i r i p o r t c report dot r u so you type this in and then you're gonna click add source so it's gonna do its stuff it's just gonna load up you gotta wait for that to happen and after that happens you're gonna get this whole screen and then this is gonna be loading up Alright guys, so it looks like it is done. Uh, now after you finish doing that, you're going to click return to Cydia. And then you're going to see this. Alright, now after you do that, you'll see uh, in your sources, you'll be in manage and you'll be in sources, you'll see this new source, uh, this one, C report, that will have the Siri icon, this one right here. So you're going to click on that. And then you're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you see a uh, Siri port you see that Siri for all devices for all i devices so you're just gonna click that Siri port and now on the top right uh, this is what it's gonna look like on the top right you guys will see an install button you will not see the modify button you will see an install button so you're gonna click the install button over here I see a uh, modify button as I have already installed it. So you're gonna, you're just gonna click install over here on the top right. Like I said, I have modify because I've already installed it. Just click install. It'll be over here. Click it here. We're asking, asking you to confirm. And then you're gonna hit confirm. And then it's just gonna do its thing all over again. Now I'm warning you guys. This will, uh, once it starts this, this is a huge thing. 
So this will take a bit of time. It will take uh, 10 to uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast your internet is. Although it says that it's just 700 KB, it could, it will take quite a while. So just leave your iPhone. Uh, it's gonna take a long time. Let that happen. Let it do. It, let it do its thing. After after you finish, after you finish downloading and doing everything, you will see a reboot device over here. After everything finishes, just pause the video. Wait for everything to finish. After you finish, you will not see return to Cydia. You will see reboot device. You're gonna click on reboot device. Okay. So now you finish step two. After you click reboot device. Uh, your iPhone's gonna restart. You're gonna see the Apple logo. After your iPhone opens up, just slide to unlock. Now, uh, do not press the do not press the uh, home button at all. Do not press it. Siri is not ready yet, so do not press the home button. Uh, just uh, do not hold the home button. You can press it. Just don't hold it. Uh, so now go into uh, Safari. After you go into Safari. Uh, open the address bar and type this address. Type this address in. HTTP colon, which are the two dots. Forward slash forward slash. Siri port s i r i p o r t dot r u slash one dot c r t now if you're done typing that in hit go you're gonna wait for it to load up and now it's automatically it's automatically gonna open your settings if you type in the right right address and then you're gonna see this it's gonna say not trusted for me it says trusted because I've already installed it so uh, ignore that just click install so after you click install it just saying yeah alright just click install now and then we'll say profile installed now just click done now I'll take you back to Safari so now just exit out Safari after you're done exiting out Safari go into settings now you'll see this go back 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 uh, go into general and now you'll see Siri so click on Siri and make sure it's turned on make sure Siri is on if it's off make it on but don't do anything else yet uh, exit your settings and restart your phone hold the power button on the top restart your iPod hold it hold it hold it hold it and then slide the power off okay so after it's done turning off you hold the power button again hold it and then turn it back on now wait for it to turn back on basically what you're doing is you're restarting your phone so just wait for it to turn back on okay so after your phone is done starting back up you just uh, slide to unlock uh, hold down the home button and Siri will be activated congratulations you just got Siri now I'm gonna warn you that this does not work for the few the first 10 minutes for some people it doesn't work for the first 20 minutes but if it gives you an error if it gives you an error saying that it's not working or it cannot be used at this time so just try again later it works perfectly but it just needs time to activate so just do it if it does not work just wait for a while let it activate. It's gonna give you an error initially. It gives everyone an error initially. Just keep on trying. Don't just leave it there. Just keep on asking it. Keep on saying hello. Keep on asking it stuff until it finally responds and then your Siri will be activated. Alright, that was the end of the tutorial guys. Congratulations. You, have you now have Siri. If you have followed all my instructions correctly, you will now have Siri. Like I said, just wait for a while for it to activate. Keep asking it if it doesn't work at first. Keep asking it a question, and it will start working in the next 10 to 20 minutes. All right, guys, this was No Shrules. If, you, if this worked for you, please, please, please like my video. Subscribe to my channel just to show some appreciation. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to, but please do subscribe to my channel. Like my video. Uh, comment on it if you have any problems. And check out my other videos if you like gaming or other Apple stuff. 
Alright guys, peace.